And then up next we do have Miss Nikki Lyon. You can kind of see her name on there. Barely though. But I'm sure a lot of you know her as the queen. And she is ready to go. Aren't you Miss Nikki? Are you ready Miss Nikki? Do you want some food? I'll take that as a yes. Nikki's got lots of chicken thighs right here. And then a couple chicken drums, just like Priya. And then she's got some nice mush as well. Right there, which is kind of some ground meat. And what the mush is, in case anyone is new, is it is the ground up inside of a cow. So it's all the organ meat, it's the healthiest bits we could give them. Sorry about the, the radio going off there. But yeah, the mush is the healthiest bits, all the organ meat, just so we're not feeding them steaks and chicken every day. Because if they were just getting chicken breast and steak all day, they wouldn't be getting all the nutrients they would need. But all right, Miss Nikki. That's all the food. I'm just gonna back up, place my bucket down, because Nikki doesn't like when you hang around. She gets very protective. And then pop the door open. Nice work, Nikki. And I'm just gonna stay over here for a minute just to make sure she's eating properly, not favoring one side or the other. Especially with those chicken drums. That's when you can kind of tell, just because it's a big bone, and if they don't want to push down and crunch it on one side, you know there's definitely some teeth problems. Because the chicken thighs, she can just slurp up, probably not even chew. She's got a drum in her mouth now. As you can see right there, she put it on one side and then on the other. And she just crunched it on both sides too. So I'd say she's good. All right, Miss Nick. Nice job. I'll see you later, okay? So today I'm feeding the back section. And up first we do have Miss Priya, who's ready to go. Let me just grab your food, Miss Priya. And she's got a bucket with her name on it, as you can see, for Miss Priya Tiger. Are you ready, Priya? Are you ready? And you can see her lock out right here. She's actually locked out of there, so she can't get in. So I can safely drop the food in there. Look at this hunk of meat right here. Crazy. Just let that sit right there for a second. Pop in some chicken with the bone in there. Some chicken drums. A little slap in there. <laughs> and then I'm just going to grab this rope. And pull it up. And then Miss Priya can come on in and start chowing on some food. Good job, Priya. And like I said, she got a big chunk of red bean right there, which is basically just steak, which is what she's chowing on right now. And then she's got some chicken drums right there, which she's actually switching to now. You might have heard the crunch. Yeah, you totally heard that one. These cats have crazy strong jaws. And you can see with the bigger pieces of meat, they try to slice it up. So they kind of push the meat to the back of their mouths and then they'll move their heads back and forth just to kind of cut the food up for them. But all right, I'm gonna leave Priya to that and then we're moving on. I'll see you later, Priya. And then up next we do have Armani, one of our, our leopards. As you can see, she's got her own little tub right there. And Armani's actually an African leopard. Yeah, you are. <laughs> And she loves to talk, as you can see, or as you can hear. And she's got lots of cut-up food in here, as you can see. Reason being, she uh, likes to eat really fast, and we don't want her to choke, because she'll throw up the food. I mean, she'll eat it again, but obviously if we can avoid them choking, <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. So we kind of just spread the food out all over the feeding slab. And the nice little pieces, just so it kind of forces her to 
not inhale all the food at once. And it looks like she's got some chicken breast in here, maybe some pork, and then some bits of red as well. You get the variety today, Armani. But all right, now that the food is in, just gonna lift up this door here with the rope. Try to step over the tree branches. And then she can come in and eat. Nice job, Monty. And Armani is one that I kinda like to just sit here and watch for a minute. Just like all the cats, I suppose. But particular, uh, or in particular her, just cause like I said, she likes to throw up sometimes when she eats really fast. So I just wanna make sure that doesn't happen. Or if it does, make sure to log it just so we can keep note of that kind of thing. But as of yet, she seems to be doing okay. There's a vulture over there investigating her feeding bucket that I threw on the ground. He's like, is there food in there? I want that. None for you, Mr. Bird. But all right, as Armani is chowing down there, I think we're going to be moving on. All right, see you, Monty. And in case you were curious how we get all the food around in the mornings, we have these nice feeding carts right here, which we can pop their buckets on, and then just pull it around the sanctuary. Hi, Miss Nat. Are you ready for some food? I actually do have her food, and she is right now not in her normal home. She's out on vacation right now. So you can see she's got a massive enclosure. Oh, man. You're showing off this morning. <laughs> nice job. The benefits of bringing a camera with you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be feeding her next, but she does have a rabbit, so if you do not want to see that, definitely uh, look away for this next part. Alright, so rabbit warning in three, two, one. Alrighty. And then, as all the cats, or at least the big ones, she is locked out of her feeding area, as you can see. So I can then pop this in. And then open this up. I'm sure, I'm sure she's just going to grab it and then run out with it. Yep. Or not. You just going to leave it right there? She's like, what are you looking at me for? I mean, maybe she'll eat it there. I'd be surprised, honestly. But it kind of looks like it. <laughs> we have Beecher yelling over there. We have Artemis yelling over there. We have all the cats out today. They're all like, give me food. But Miss Nat here, or Natalia, is actually a rare, very rare cat. Yeah, you are. I want to see you crunch it up. Make sure your teeth are okay. Uh, she is an Omer Leopard, so super rare. I want to say there's only, I don't know, 70, 60, 70, 80 of them actually left out in the wild. So not many at all, that is for sure. But you can see the difference. I don't know if you can. I'm not going to get too close to her because I don't want to make her mad or stress her out. But uh, she's a lot fluffier. You can probably see on her tail, especially, uh, in comparison to Armani, who we were just at, who's also a leopard. But like I said, she was an African leopard, and Nat is a Amur leopard. But yeah, I'm sure you could Google that, Amur leopard and population, and it'll say something like anywhere from 60 to 80, probably, I would guess. Because, yeah, there's definitely not a lot of them. And then the plan for the rest of the feeding route, because she is the last one on the route today, is I basically just wait for all the cats to finish eating, and then I walk back the reverse path that I came in, or I guess I could walk the, the same path, I suppose. But I basically just go back to every cat that I just fed, made sure they ate, and then if not, I'll pick it up just so we don't attract any birds or squirrels or things looking for a free meal. And then if they didn't eat it, I'll take it back to food prep, weigh it, and just make a note of what they left so that we can kind of keep track of that stuff. Just because we like to know pretty much everything about the cats. Because the more we know, the better we can care for them, and then, you know, the better lives they have. But Nat is actually going to be out here in her vacation enclosure 
for about two weeks. She's about one week in right now. It's Thursday today. She was moved in last Thursday. So she'll get till next Thursday. And then someone else will get a chance out there. And this is kind of the smaller of the two vacations we have. This one is for our leopards, cougars, and then smaller cats. And then the super big vacation, which is actually two and a half acres, is for our big cats, so our lions and tigers. And they'll get to go out there, same thing, two weeks at a time. And right now, Miss Amanda's out there, so she's enjoying it, I'm sure. But as she seems to have just taken the head off, and I haven't seen any problems, I am just going to leave her to that. Yeah, you can shake it. And then go check on the rest of the cats and make sure they ate. All right, good job, Nat. Hi, Miss Artemis. How you doing? Yeah, that's how you're feeling? The feeder is on the center route, which is the route that Artemis is on. And her brothers, who's... You can see Orion probably over in the back over there. But they're over feeding kind of the beginning of the route, so they'll make their way over here momentarily. Also, Nikki was totally roaring in the beginning of this clip. My guess is you couldn't hear because it was kind of hard for me to hear, so I doubt the camera picked it up. But if it did, that would be pretty impressive, so definitely let me know in the comments if you heard it or not. But it seems the feeders are coming, so I'm going to back off and just let them feed her. Just so you don't get distracted. Alright, see ya. And then, like I said, I was going to be walking back and checking on all the cats, as it seems that Armani is done here. You can see she's got a clean plate. So you did very good, Miss Armani. You did a nice job. She's like, I'll take some more if you want to give me more. I don't have any more. I apologize. <laughs> Alright. Good work, Monty. Now, if I know Nikki, who I'm checking on next, my guess is she probably left a little bit of mush. I feel like she always leaves a little bit of mush. So if she did, I'm definitely going to pick that up. And what do you know? She did leave a little bit, but not a lot. So definitely nothing to worry about. But before I do put my hand in there and pull that out, I am going to be shutting that door. Just like how it was set for uh, feeding. Just so that I'm not in any danger, as you could imagine. I don't want to lion charging at me especially a lion charging me at 8 a.m don't need that in the morning although if that did happen he could say i wouldn't need any coffee <laughs> but i'm sure nikki is over in her other section probably passed out at this point or about to but yeah the way we would log this is kind of form the mush into a ball like this so I would say it's probably about the size of a tennis ball. So I would say that she left a tennis ball of mush. 